All right, we are back. Getting some stuff set up real quick, but this is uh, gonna be Coco Pele from uh, Stefan Feld. And to, to say we're excited to be doing a first look of it is like a big deal. Like, yeah. We're excited. Yeah, we're and, super excited about this. And first of all, thank you, Travis, for letting us do it. Yeah, sure thing. I really like one of you guys. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I can do that now, too. We've got the same mic. That's true. Uh, so uh, right. uh, tell it. Well, oh, uh, TJ, go to the other side. Oh, sure. I, I assumed you guys were going to play green and yellow again, so we can move them. It's not a big deal. Nope. If you really Done. Can. Fixed. Right, good yep. uh, Two seconds. Yeah. Travis, uh, just talk a little bit about the game and uh, what we'll be doing. Yeah, sure thing. I've already went ahead and set the game up, but I'll talk about what I did. Um, in uh, Coco Pele, we're going to choose uh, 12 different ceremonies from the cards that are available. The base cards are on this uh, sheet over here. It's kind of an age, so you can look them up, and there are 16 of those. And then these are kind of some expansion cards. They're all in here, which takes up to 25. So you choose 12 of them. So you have kind of a different set of uh, ceremonies that you're going to use in every game. And each ceremony brings a different, unique ability to the game. So there's a whole bunch of combinations. So I've set all of the ceremonies out here in the middle. I randomly drew them out of this container, and put them out, and um, there are cards to go along with each one. So for example, here we have this burning sun. Um, I put that out there, and I put three cards that match that in each of your decks. So each of our decks are 42 cards. That's 12 ceremonies times three is 36. And then we all have six of these wild cards. They're called spirits. And that brings us up to 42. So we'll shuffle all those together before we start. And um, that's where your card play for the entire game comes from. So um, our goal is to complete ceremonies, which are going to score as points and kind of play down. Um, so let's talk about how that works. So when you have hand, uh, your uh, hand of cards, or your deck of cards, you're going to start the game out by drawing five of them. Um, and uh, on your turn, you're going to typically get two actions that you can use the different cards that you have in your hand to do a variety of different things. So those things are, um, you can start a ceremony with the base rules. You can only start ceremonies on your village board. Your village board are the four spaces in front of you. So you can see that each village board has four areas where you can play cards. So I can start a ceremony on any of the spaces on my village board. Uh, the next thing that I can do with one of my cards is extend a ceremony. So if there's already a ceremony started because there's a, say, turtle card here, I could play another one below it to extend it. So a ceremony can be extended twice. One card, uh, the first card starts it. The second card extends it, and the third card extends it. And then if I were to play the fourth card, that would close the ceremony. Now, the difference between starting them, you can only start them on your village board. You can extend them in your playing area. So my playing area is my village board, and my right-hand neighbor's closest two spaces, and my left-hand neighbor's closest two spaces. So, yes, I can extend my ceremonies, but I can also extend your ceremonies. And playing the fourth card closes them, and you can also close ceremonies in your playing area. So I can close your ceremonies. So closing a ceremony does two things. One, while you have a ceremony open, you get the ability that's printed on it. And we'll go over all 12 of the abilities that we're playing with before we start. But you have that ability as long as that ceremony is active on, on your board. The second thing closing it does is it lets you score the top scoring disc that's on that ceremony so they all have a four and a three on them so if you're the first person to close that one out you're going to score four points and if you're the second person to close it out you're going to score three points and then once it's closed out completely we would put one of these on it to show that that one has been finished now you can still close a ceremony that's already been finished but when you do that you only get one point so note there, if I were to close one of Richmond's ceremonies, 
He may have been working on it, but I swooped in and took the four points for closing it. If I do that, he does get one point as a consolation. If you close your own, you get the four points and there is no consolation. So that's very much a, an in-play thing is to close other people's ceremonies. Um, the other things you can do with your two actions on your turn, so far we've talked about opening a ceremony, extending a ceremony, and closing a ceremony. You can also use an action to draw a card. You just draw it into your hand. And finally, you can use an action to cancel a ceremony. You may find yourself at a point where you don't like some of the ceremonies that are active on your board and you want to cancel one of them. To do that, you would just pick up all the cards and put them on the bottom of your discard pile. Um, this game, it doesn't really matter top or bottom. It goes in the bottom because one of the cards in the game lets you take cards off your discard pile, so they need to go on the bottom. But canceling it frees up that space for you to play other cards and start another ceremony there. So that sometimes is a viable option for you. So we're going to play until either all 12 have been closed. Uh, sorry, in a three-player game, we're going to play until 10 of them are closed. Or until one player's draw deck runs out. When they do, uh, we'll finish that turn back to the last player, and then we'll score the game. So uh, the main thing you're going to score are the things that you picked up during the game. Um, if you note, like if I pull this scoring token over here, uh, points are hidden. So we're going to flip them over once right. you get them over, over to your board. Okay. And uh, the only in-game scoring is at the end of the game, you will take your whatever's left in your hand. You'll put it back on your draw deck. And whoever has the smallest draw deck at the end will score five points. Second smallest will score three points. Most points wins. Okay. Uh, and Travis, did you mention the the rule that we forgot when we did a test run last night? I don't know if I missed that or not. Oh, I didn't mention that. You're right. So this is uh, very important. There can only be one of each ritual active in a playing area. So if it's my turn... I, I cannot play a ritual if it exists on my board or in these two spaces on TJ's board or these two spaces on Richmond's board. If it's already active, I cannot start that ceremony. Now, it could be started over here. Like if I had it active on uh, my right here on my right side of my board, that's not part of Richmond's playing area. So he could start it over here on one of his. But it does uh, let Limit you from starting them. So I'm going to delete this player board over here because it's just kind of, we don't really need it. And we'll take these and I'll just drop them in one of these containers and that'll clear it up a little bit. Um, I, it seems to me like the winner should go first of the Winter Kingdom game. Yeah. Well, I thought, I thought you were going to say the winner of uh, last night's uh, game of this, which would all. <laughs> it's the same guy. Same guy. All right. So I will go first. So Correct, have... Kara. Oh, let, hidden. let me go over the um, the cards first that we haven't played before we get started. So the yeah, first one is the Sun card. And and these cards always override the rules, and we'll see a lot of that. The Sun card lets you start ceremonies in your neighbor on your neighbor's board. So you're part of the board that's in my play area. If I have that active, I can start a ceremony there. The next one is this one. It's the kind of white with a uh, statue near the top. That one lets you... Um, Uh, each time you play a spirit on, on one of your ceremonies, I'm sorry, each time a spirit is played on one of your ceremonies, you score one point. Spirits, again, are the wild cards. Next, we have the red card. That one says that all four of your neighbor's ceremonies are considered in your play area. You can play cards in all four of your neighbor's ceremonies. Next, we have the blue one with like a sort of a deerish looking with horns. Um, when you're when when one of your ceremonies is finished, you get a victory point. Whether you complete it or somebody else completes it, you get a victory point. So in that case, if somebody else completed it, you get the consolation plus another victory point. Next, we have this yellow one here. That one says if a a played spirit counts as two spirit cards the moment you play it. So if your ceremony is at two and you play a spirit card, now it's at four and it's going to close. In addition, say, for example, you have the one that gives you a point and you play a spirit on one of your ceremonies, you would now get two points because you technically played two spirits. 
Next, we have the vase. The vase says, extending at least one of your ceremonies awards an extra action to the active player. So if I have vase active on my play area and TJ extends one of my ceremonies, that power gives the active player an extra action, which is him. Uh, the brown feather. Um, odd. This is a rule we missed, Richmond. If you play your hand down to zero on your turn, you immediately score oh, one call. point and draw three cards. So if it's on your first action, you would immediately do it, and then you're going to be able to play those cards on your second action. If you have the brown feather active, instead of one point, you score three points, and instead of three cards, you draw five cards, which also brings me to the other rule I missed, which is our hand limit is five. If you go over five, you can, you're good, but at the end of your hand, at the end of your turn, if you're still over five, you have to discard down to five, and the cards you discard go on the bottom of your draw deck. So they're not discarded. They're put back in the draw deck. Right. Um, all right. Next is the pink paw print. That one, um, extending another player's ceremony gives you a victory point. Um, then we have the uh, lime green one. Your ceremonies are finished with a third card. If a third card is played on it, those are completed. Now, um, a qu one of the questions I've had on this one is, if I play that card and I already have a ceremony with three cards, is it immediately completed? And the answer to that is no, because it only happens when the third card is played on it. Got it. Um, next, we have the archer. The archer gives us an act on your action draw. Uh, if you have him active, you can say I'm using him. And instead of drawing one card, I draw two cards. Uh, and next, we have the pink. This one is also an action draw. When you draw cards, you can immediately play them uh, to extend a ceremony if possible. So if you draw pull a card that matches, you can immediately play it. The an important note, both of those are action draw abilities. You can only use one action draw ability at a time. So you have to choose which one you want. You don't get to draw two cards and then play them uh, to extend a ceremony as well. You have to do one or the other. And finally, we have the turtle. The turtle uh, awards one victory point when you finish a ceremony. And those are the 12 that we have actively. All righty. Uh, anything else before we get started? Uh, I don't think so. I'll just point out that um, everybody should understand all this is not finished. No, none of the art's finished. Uh, everything's kind of a work in progress, which you guys have even seen a little bit over the last couple of days. So yeah. just making sure everybody knows what they see isn't the finished product. It's just and then, kick, then Kickstarter is coming. Yeah, it's Kickstarter is coming later this month. And uh, I think you'll probably drop the link in the Twitch chat and then we'll put it up on Twitter and stuff yep. where you can go and sign up, be notified when the campaign launches. We yeah, will, absolutely. Uh, yeah, we'll put that in chat here in just a moment. Um, all right, I'll go ahead and get started. Uh, so my two actions, I'm going to play this card here. Uh, this is going to uh, allow me to, uh, when one of my ceremonies is finished, I'm award, awarded one victory point. Uh, and then I'm going to play this one over here. Uh, and I can play cards on all four ceremonies, or on all four ceremonies of my neighbors. So oh, yeah. everything is wide open. Uh, and that's my turn. And nice. while uh, you take your turn, I'm going to grab another beer. Oh, sounds good. And, uh, and check my uh, battery for my camera. Spirit cards are just the six starting wild card. Yes. Yes. So this is a wild card that cannot be used to start a ceremony, but can be used to extend it, correct? Uh, yeah, correct. Extend or complete, but it can't be used to start. Gotcha. It is important to note that extending is not completing. So when you play that fourth one, if you have something that scores for extending, that is not extending. I am going to start this card, which action draw one extra card. And I'm going to have, uh, I'm also going to play, start this ceremony, which is your ceremonies are finished. Let's see if I can fix that. Yeah, finished when the third card is played on it. And that is my turn. Alrighty, um, I'm going to play the vase. 
which is if one of your cere ceremonies that extended the active player gets an extra action. And I'm going to play this because um, Richmond's is not in my playing area, so I'm able to do that. And that's the end of my turn. Okay. Um, let's. How do I go about this? Oof. All right. Uh, so I'm going to. Let's draw a card first. See what happens. See where we go from here. All right. Um, let's play this bad boy here. It lets me start ceremonies by my neighbors if possible. Yes, Tom, it does. The, restri the area limitation does include your neighboring two spots to your left and your right. Which makes it very nice and interactive. Yeah, you definitely can't. Um, yeah, we didn't play it that way last night when we played the test game. Uh, so my win over... Um, Got a strong Tra asterisk. Travis and uh, David from Man vs. People has an asterisk next to it, but... I'm Still, gonna and, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and draw two with my action draw there as my first action, and then I'm going to actually extend Travis's, which would give me an extra action. Uh huh. And then I am going to play this one, which says each time a spirit is played on your ceremonies, you're awarded one victory point. And that's my turn. All right. I'm going to play the same one. It's outside of your, yours is outside of my plane area. It's some good. And um, HB, thank you for the kind words. And I think I'm going to draw a card. I right. only have two beers on the stream. Let's be clear. I'm not drinking more than two on stream. Like, on stream. More than two at a time. All right. Is the uh, Richmond's turn? Yep. Sorry, I had to put I had to put my four beers down. Um all right. This is this is tricky, Travis. This is real tricky. Um because I oof. I don't want to do it, but we're going to. Um, let's play this guy here. Okay. Uh, let's play this guy here. So what's going to happen is TJ is going to get a point because I played a spirit on his side. Right. Uh, and then I'm going to get four points for closing out uh, that ceremony. So, right, which closes because he has the three cards to close the ceremony. Correct. And then uh, TJ is going to get a uh, a bonus point as kind of a... Uh, um, uh, it's a wah, wah, wah bonus yeah. point, right? Uh, uh, those, then, cards come off, those, uh, that, that, those cards for that ceremony come off, and that's, that will start your discard pile, uh, TJ. And you can probably do it right there, yeah. Yep, got it. And that is... That was aggressive, mm -hmm. Richmond. Yeah, I found when I played last night that that was, that was my best move. It's just to attack. Yeah, I was, I was setting him up over and over and over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Travis, Travis uh, playing cards. I was like, oh, thank you. I just need that one card. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play a spirit on this one, which will... Oh, I stacked him. There we go. Oh, yeah. Play a spirit it. there, which gives me a victory point. It doesn't because that ceremony is no longer active. That oh, that isn't true. That is true. Oh, well, I'm still doing it. Let's put that there for a second. It's true. He did just close it. Um, And then I'll go ahead and I'll play this on it. And I'll close that ceremony. Um. Oh, gosh. I get the four. Yep. Okay. Oh, by the way, pre-roll ads are on. So if some for some reason we have an ad that runs, we apologize. 
Yes, absolutely. We can't turn it off. Twitch won't let us. Well, we'd have to run an ad of our own. uh, To we have to run a lot of ads, actually. Yeah. Um, So. My turn, right? Yes, it is your turn. I was uh, looking at Kara's uh, question, uh, and it does play change the playing field. It's just uh, it wraps around to whoever's next to you. Or yeah, in a in a three player game, yeah, you just make it a triangle. But, so I drew a card, or played a card, and drew a card. I started a ceremony and uh, drew a card. Would you start with a turtle? I hate that turtle. All right, um, well, get rid of it, Richmond. You know how to. No, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to play this over here, and I can do that because I can play on all four of my neighbor's cards. Yes, you can from uh, the yeah that one there, and then. Uh, I get a victory point because I have no cards in my hand and I draw three. Yowza. All right. Uh, go from here. Where to go from here? Wasn't that two actions? No, it's one. I, it's it's basically oh. a bonus. To oh, yeah, that's right. Cards. Sorry. Uh, uh, How did, how's it going, Meeple Overboard? Welcome hey, to the stream. Me- Welcome, welcome. Yep, yeah. Join a <laughs> join a game about Feld, and two seconds in, you already here. I get a victory point because, and a victory point because. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna play that there, and that is uh, mine. It's definitely not as point salady uh, as you would imagine. It's if, if, if oh, Meeple overboard. Uh, as while you're here, you'll definitely see that this is uh, it's Meeple unique. Over- yeah, it's a little I'm different. Gonna... It's unique. I really like it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start a ceremony with my last card in my hand. And Travis, now would this card that I've started uh, trigger? Yep. So I have no cards in my hand. I'm awarded three VP and draw five cards. Is that three VP in addition to the one you get for just drawing back up? No, it's three instead of one. Three instead of one. Cool. Just wanted to make sure. So that is five cards coming to me. And then I am going to. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the turtle on this side. And that's my turn. All right. I am going to draw a card. And I'm going to draw another card. And I'm done. Travis, you know it. I like those turns. <laughs> Um, I need you to really set me up here. I should have played the other side. I should have played after you. Yeah, but it's so much fun when you just throw me stuff. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna draw a card it's against my better judgment. Maybe. All right. All right. So I'm gonna play this here. And that'll be my turn. Okay. You get an extra action for doing that because I have the vase. I do. Vase, how low can you go? That's <laughs> uh, funny because I just started playing uh, Tony Hawk uh, 1 and 2. And that is one of the uh, main songs in Tony Hawk 2. Vase, how low can you go? Uh, let's, let's throw the vase there. See what happens. Uh, nope. nope. I get an extra action. I'm going to draw a card. Draw on the okay. card. Okay. So I am going to play this card. And then I will play this card on this, which will close that ceremony. And I will get the victory points. Oh, geez. Sorry, guys. Ew. Apparently it uh kept on my hand there. I got angry anger and threw it across the board. All right. That is my turn. All right, my turn. I'm going to extend this ceremony for you. No, oh, thank you. Good, like, oh, I get an like... extra VP. Sorry. Forgot I got an extra VP for my turtle. Yep. And then I'm going to clo- close this ceremony for you. And Thanks. I'll take this. Yep, no problem. I'll take the three I, points for that. And get a consolation prize. We're going to put one of those out there. 
And I'm going to take an extra one because I got a turtle. And that's the end of my turn. All right. All right. Richmond. Yeah, no. I'll draw a card. Uh, huh. Interesting. Uh, let's do let's do this. Uh, so when I draw a card, I get a card extra, which I should have done that backwards, but I didn't really plan for it. So, uh, yeah, that was poor turn management. That, that was poor turn. turn management. Uh, I will play. I'll start this ceremony. I'll start this ceremony, which will trigger this, which will give me three victory points. And I'll draw five cards. See, he's running away with this. He's doing a thing. I don't know what that thing is, guys. I'm okay. going to extend this one. Okay. And then I'm going to draw a card. All right, so I'm going to draw two cards because that's, that's my power. Uh, do you have... Oh, you already closed that one out, didn't you? Turds. <laughs> Turds. Yeah. Let's play this one here. And that is my turn, unfortunately. Okay. Chat, I don't know what's happening. This is going horribly. All right. So I am going to. Well, didn't we talk about how we wanted to let TJ do well? Because we didn't want to feel. Wasn't that a thing we talked about? I thought... So it seems like I should do my action draw. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to do an action draw. Okay, and then I will extend this ceremony here. Okay. Alrighty, I am going to um, we got over here. Other players finished all four an action draw. All right, I'm going to draw a card. Give me something to work with. <laughs> Meh. I'm going to draw another card. The worst. I am the worst. I'm the best at being the worst. All right. I've got to start making moves, making moves, making million dollar moves. Uh, I'm going to draw two. Nope. Oh, okay. And that's your uh, turn? No. Uh, I have the one that lets me draw an extra card. Oh, okay. That is the archer. And now it is my turn. Or is it your is. turn? Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the action draw one. It gives me that. Which I can immediately play. Yeah. The, yeah. So, and then... I'm going to action draw again. And I will be done for the moment. So you'll have to discard one right to the bottom. Of yes, your I got to discard. Actually, let's do it this way. I will. Let me check here. I'm going to check one thing because I might. Yeah, yeah if you can. So play that course. Is that the card you drew? You, have, you can only play the card you drew. Uh, I still had an action, right? I think you drew oh, one yeah. and played it here yeah. and then drew it. Then, yeah, it was, it's okay. It was this okay. one. All right. I can extend Richards. Yeah, no, you don't have... Okay. Uh, I have dropped right. the Kickstarter link in chat if anybody wants to get signed up to uh, get... Yeah, to get notified on this. Notified. 
All right, I'm going to close this one out. I feel like you, yeah. want to, you wanted me to do was close that out for you. I did yeah. not. I did not. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. I'm going to take a victory point for that. Oh. And that'll go to your discard. Yeah. And then... And then Try I'm to throw going it across to the board. extend this ceremony, which gets me another action. And... I will draw a card. And I am all done. Okay. What's going on here? Okay. So nothing is great. <laughs> uh, not going the way you want it, Richmond? No, not really. So let's. Yeah, I need like one more thing to happen. Um, oh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, uh, hand limit of five. Kara. Yeah. That's why I'm in a tight spot. Uh, I'm going to. Oof. oof. All right. Fine. So I'm going to play. Uh oh, hello. I'm going to play this here. Mm -hmm. That gives me an extra action. So okay. I'm going to draw two cards. Okay. I'm going to play this here. Okay. I'm going to break my rule, Richmond, and take a point because I finished a ceremony last time. Oof. It's true, he did. And I got a toidle. Care, yes, that is correct. I am screwed. Have you finished your turn, Richmond? Yes. Good. Um, so I'm going to, first thing, play this, close this ceremony, which will give me another, which will give me another turn, and I will get a... I will get that was what faces. We'll get this yep, guy. I won't give you another turn because you closed it. You didn't extend it. Oh, okay, that's fine. So I get a point in consolation, and I have the deer looking thing, which gives me a point if one of my one of miners completed. So that's two points. Okay, and then I have one more action. So you want to uh, group those up there, Travis, for me? Sure thing. Might be eyeball in your extra area. Okay. Hmm. I think I am going to play that. Which is uh, extending another player's ceremony against one big point. All right, that's my turn. All right. I'm going to play this here. And I am going to draw a card. Uh, for those who are watching, what do you think so far? Um, I've, again, this is the second time I've played it, and I am... I enjoy it a lot. It um, it ticks a lot of a lot of boxes for me uh, for for games that I like. Um, and we had a uh, we had a long discussion afterwards uh, with David from Amber Smith last night. We kind of talked about uh, what we liked about this game, and we'll uh, probably do the same uh, once we finish this one. Yeah, for sure. Uh, is it Richmond's turn? Uh, yeah, I believe it is. What is this one over here? Uh, spirits spirits count, as count as two. Uh, but only for you, correct? That's correct. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, where to go from here is nowhere. I have this one that says you may start ceremonies by your neighbors if possible. 
Um, but I have you could play cards on all four, on all four ceremonies of your neighbors. Uh, do those combine to mean I could start a I could start a ceremony in any of the four spaces? Yep, anywhere you can play. Okay. To be fair, there's no there's nowhere you can play. So, uh, yeah. all right. So I'm gonna draw two. I'm gonna have to discard. Uh, definitely. This is you're exactly where I was at the early part of last night. I just kind of couldn't. I had to start finagling to be able to play cards. Yeah, it's it's not going great. Yeah, it, it seems counterintuitive at times, but don't rule out the idea that you can cancel a ceremony. Uh, true. I, I feel I feel so pot committed on so many uh, <laughs> on so many on all four of my ceremonies that it doesn't feel like it makes sense. Um, all right, you done, I'm, Richmond? Yeah, no, I'm going to discard down to oh. five. So yeah. I'm discard this one. Okay, I'm going to discard that one card to the bottom of my discard pile. Because that's okay. my one discard. All righty. So I am going to. See here, do you still have? You do not have that one. Okay. I am going to extend some ceremonies. I think I'm gonna extend this turtle up here. Oh, I grouped it. Sorry. Yeah, Tom. That's what we talked about last night. Is it? Excuse me, a victory point. It has a little bit of that. Um, war chest kind of vibe um only only really from kind of this top-down look of there are different colors and different powers uh but it definitely makes it easily expandable um for for a game like this and i would uh we talked about, we talked about last night about a bunch of different um things that you could expand into uh, may, either making it more uh attacky um if you wanted to God. What was that ceremony up? And I took an extra one because I have the turtle. Turtle. And uh, what to do now? I think the thing to do now is draw a card. All right. All right, let me see where everybody's at. Of course, everybody has two. Oh, and one of my samurais finished, I get I'm awarded a victory point. So I get a bonus victory point for that, by the way. Mm, yeah. Sure uh, all right, so I'm gonna play this card. So I can immediately extend ceremonies when the drawn card is possible. That's my first action, so I'm going to draw a card as my second action. Uh, and I will play that here, but that's not an action, so... Correct? Correct. Yep. All right, yep, yep, that's my turn. Yep, all right. So, first action I'm going to do, close that ceremony right on up. Get that. And get the bonus for my turtle. And you will get that bonus for that before it goes away, Richmond. Uh, I'll get that bonus before it goes away. Yep. So you get two: one for the constellation, and one for the the, the power, and then. It... And then I believe I will extend my own ceremony. There. That's my turn. All right. I'm going to draw a card. That's not the one I wanted, but, you know, that's the way it goes, I guess. I feel like that's... I'll play here and extend this, and I'm done. Uh, all right, I'm just looking through the things real quick. So I'm going to play this. Uh, here, which allows me uh, ceremonies are finished when the third card is played on it. Uh, and I'm going to play that here uh, to give myself uh, four points from the sun. Yeah. yeah. 
So that's there. Group that. Uh, and that is my turn. Okay. I am going to extend the ceremony here. Okay. Which will give me a victory point. Yep. And my hand is empty, so I'll get three victory points. Ugh. And there are draw five. Seems like a lot of point tokens over here. I have one more that I can. I got one more action. Hey Travis, we have a question in chat from Kara. She wants to know if the cards have names other than the turtle. Um, so all of the art. There's a story about the the inspiration for this game. Uh, Stefan Fell was our guest at Gen Con last year, and um, uh, afterwards he did some traveling in the U.S. with his wife and some friends, and they went to the U.S. the Southwest and actually saw um, a lot of the uh, original Pueblo areas and a lot of the art and things. And he was so awe inspired by it that it inspired him to create the game. So. I, I would I th I think that the original art uh, probably has some sort of a reference name to it, although we're not I don't think we're planning to assign any names to the cards. They're not direct rep uh, recreations, but they're inspired by that original art. Okay, it's your turn, Travis. All right, uh, I'd like to thank Richmond for playing that complete a ceremony with three cards card, and I'll take Thanks an extra here. Appreciate that. Um, and then I will draw a card. The old Max Charity fist shake. Yeah. So you can take your turn after you put those in your discard pile, buddy. I'm just mad about it. But still, it'll get my one point. Whoa. Yeah, it, it, it likes to hang on there. All right. Uh, in that case, I'll go there. I'll go there there and then i'll draw three cards and get a victory point and that's my turn would y'all would y'all stop with the chips it's like you all have way more than i do and i don't appreciate it there's more out there you can have it's true what? all righty so the first thing i'm going to do is i am going to Play on here and close that ceremony. All right. I'm going to take two points, one for the consolation and one for the card I have that gives me a point. Mm -hmm. Of course. And I'm, closed. And I'm closing the, that one there. So I'll take that and I'll get a bonus point as I throw it across the map. Okay. So Close you see, there's not, I think there's not as many failed scoring paths as normal, but if you have the right cards in the game, there are a lot of ways to score points. Yeah. It, when we played last night, we played with some of the expansion ones as well, and it opened up some pretty nice combos um, for sure. Then I'm going to go ahead and just uh, draw a card. Okay. That's my turn. Uh, I'm going to draw. Oh, at first I'm going to get rid of this because you completed that. Um, I will play the hunter down here. And it's your turn, Richmond. All right, uh, I'm going to finish that ceremony. So you'll get a bonus point from your dear yoga lady. Uh, I'll yep, get four so points two. here. I would have gotten a point because you played a spirit over here, but somebody completed that ceremony for me. You're welcome. 
Thanks, man. I'm just being helpful. I'm having you to are. remember that I don't have that red card anymore that lets me play on any space. <laughs> um, so let's... I'm trying to I have to remember now how many spirits I've played. Uh, go. Uh, let's draw a card. And that's my turn. Okay. I uh gonna draw a card. And then I will interesting. I believe I will Ooh, that's a decision. I will go ahead and extend this one. Okay. All right. I'm going to extend this one. And Which I'm one did you extend, Jay? The, the Yogi. That gets you a victory point, by the way, if you didn't already get it. Yeah, I just did. Okay. So I completed that one. Okay. Four. I get one. And that's Just the end of my turn. Can you hold on to your stuff, TJ? I don't know what this coke token is. It's just one guy. Uh, so that one's closed. Richmond's token pile is actually up here. There, Kira. What? Oh, yeah. She just couldn't see it. That's because there's no tokens in it. It is kind of small. She just couldn't see it from the framing. I've cashed in. I've I've made some exchanges. Uh, I'm going to draw. I'll draw again. Even worse. All right. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, finish this ceremony here. Grab this guy. Okay. And uh, so I'll get one plus one before that one goes away. So that's good for two. Right there. What are these white? What are these white cards you guys are playing? I haven't seen, <laughs> I literally have not seen a single one the entire game. And then I will. Go ahead and play the vase. Travis, you haven't gone through many cards. I have not. Well, I got stuck with some early and I was just. Uh, I think Travis, turn, you're Travis. Right. Yep. Um, what to do? Well, I think I'm going to draw a card. That's not really the card I wanted. <laughs> I'll draw another card. That is incredible. I'm done. For the whole game? <laughs> I'm just done, done for the whole game. I just saw that... Uh, do you guys watch Hot Ones? Yes. So did you watch the episode, the special episode he did with... Uh, oh, what's the, the rapper's name? That Where they did the Pocky One Chip Challenge? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I just saw... Little Yachty, is that his name? It is Little Yachty. Yeah. I just saw uh, Lance Mixter uh, posted that he, he he posted a picture of it, and all he said was, this was a horrible idea. <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping I, he, I'm hoping I love Hot Ones. Hot Ones has come up here, I think, a couple of times. I think so. Oh, yeah. it's, it's great. Uh, Ross from More Games Please loves to talk about Hot Ones as well. Oh, it's he, a great show. A I didn't enjoy player. the game show as much. No. I mean, because those people, I mean, it was just, it was interesting to see people come out and they're like talking smack. And then like 60 seconds later, they're over there like, oh, I'm going to die. Or, I, I, think, I, I think, think the, did your I think video the, just die, Richmond? Uh, maybe. No, I think the benefit of Hot Ones is, is the actual interview just because it's so different. Oh, he's great. He's, he's like the perfect interviewer for that. He does such a good job. And, 
can't imagine what it's done to his palate and his body over 50, 60 episodes or whatever, or however many, that maybe even 100, I don't know, that's a lot, but 12 seasons or something. All right, so I believe I am going to... Hmm... Going to, oh man, that's a tough decision again. Go ahead and draw, I think, draw a card. The first one. Then I'm going to extend that. Oh God. All right, that's my turn. All right, I'm going to draw a card. Oh, wow. Um, and I'll play it right here. Hello. So that closes that ceremony because my spirits are doubled. Okay. Uh, so I'll take that. Feature point. And I'm done. Feature point. Come on. There he is. All right, Richmond. Uh, I am still here. Uh, we just lost your video. Yeah, for a second. Okay. Cool. Uh. <laughs> Somebody's playing Wind Waker. That's my daughter. <laughs> they recognize the music immediately, Emma. For what? Well, for that no the sound the the Zelda music you just played. That's not Zelda music. Oh, it's not. What is it? Oh, if you want to know, you don't get to. She says it's not Zelda music. Sounds like Wind Waker. He said it sounds like Wind Waker. It's not Wind Waker. It she, is close to Dragon Race Biome. She said it's not Wind Waker. No, that's a bummer. Yeah. Uh, I'm finished. Okay. I am going to go ahead and start the ceremony. And then I'm going to extend this ceremony which will you close it not extend it right so yeah, it doesn't sorry. Give you, so it doesn't give you an extra action no the victory point for that and then a bonus victory point for that okay uh um i'm gonna draw a card Hmm. I will uh, extend this ceremony, okay. which gives me an extra action, and I'll use that to draw a card, and I'm done. All right, Richmond. Yeah, carbs. It it's very cool, and I could see even more with it being from the southwest. Yeah, for sure. Sorry about this. I don't know why it's not uh, popping back on. It's okay. It's uh. All right, is it back to me? Yes. Okay. Um. So I'll draw a card. Draw another card. Ugh. All right, um, that's my turn. Okay. I'm going to play this card out. My hand is empty. I get three victory points. Draw five cards. Then I will extend. Actually, no, take that back. Will not extend. I will extend this one, which gives me an extra action. And then I will play this to close it with my last action. And I'll take the fire. Easy. what will happen if I turn my video off and turn it back on? Will it ruin everything? I have no idea. We'll see. We'd have to see. Okay.
I will extend this for the extra action that it gives me. I could play that on Richmond's instead, but you know. All right, then I'm going to play the drummer, rumpa pum pum, and then I'm going to close this because it only takes three now. Okay. So I'll take that. And I'm done. Okay. Richmond. I'm down to 19 cards, and I've seen one spirit and none of the feather cards. Well, they all should be right there. They're there. They're waiting for me. Can you hear us, Richmond? A mild technology breakdown over here. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, just roll with it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna draw a card. I'm gonna close this one out. Well, yeah, I have to close that one. So uh, I'll take those, group them. I didn't want to point out to TJ a minute ago that if he'd have played the pink card there, he would have closed it out because you only needed three. Right. You wouldn't have yeah. extended. Because I think he has enough points. Yeah, I think, geez. Yeah, he's definitely got enough points. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. I am going to play the deer. And then I am going to draw. All right, I'm going to extend this. And then I'm going to start this, which for the first time in the entire game, I have emptied my hand. And I'm going to draw three. And I'm done. All right. Back to me. Yep. All right. So that's where it's the last time I'll try and fool with that camera. Uh, here we go. Play this here. Draw a card. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm good now. Okay. I've like got the this. pregnant lady where it lets me play it and it cleared that um, paw print. Which I would have been able to play. I'll extend that, which gives me a, uh, an extra action for that. And then I will use my other action to draw. See, so play. And, yep. Yep. All right, Travis. All right, I am going to use my draw action and take two cards. And I will play one of them here to the Joker's already closed. That's only going to be worth one. Yeah, this one's really different, Kara. Yeah, it's definitely different than I've got closer to game I've played before. And I just get one because that one's already been closed. And I'm done. All right. I am going to uh, draw a card. I'm going to immediately play it on this one to extend it. Um. And then I'm just gonna draw another card and see what happens. Okay. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, and I have to discard down. Discard. 
with that guy. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to use both my actions to draw. I'm done. I'm going to use one of my actions to draw to see what I get. And then I will play that there. A little late for it, but hey, you know. Uh, I am going to... <sighs> Let's draw one like that. Uh, I will play it. Uh, I guess I can play it here. No, it's not. Do we just do we uh, determine the difference between extending and closing? Two different things. That would close it, not extend it, because you have the one that only takes three cards to close it. Okay, so I'm going to do that then uh, and close it as my second action. Okay. So I'll group that up, and that will close that lady. Okay. All right, I'm good. Um. I am going to draw one. Oh. Yeah, Carps, I, I definitely think this is a, it's it's a it's an easier feld to um, introduce to people, I think. Uh, but there's definitely a lot of it's definitely still thinky, um in trying to like combine these powers. When you discard um, from your hand, they go on, back on your draw deck. Okay, on That's the fine. bottom. Yeah, go on now. Get under there. Go ahead, Travis. Okay. Um, I'm going to draw one. And I'm going to extend this ceremony. Which gives me an extra action. And I'll extend this ceremony. I'm done. All right, so I'm going to make a play and see what happens. Okay. So I'm going to play this here. Which gives me an extra action. Mm -hmm. I'm still two actions. I'm going to play this here. Okay. Which, if I'm correct, still gets me an extra action. Yep. No, you know, you can oh. only get one extra action. Oh. It, it, it says if they extend. I think the way the card's phrased is extending at least one of your ceremonies awards mm -hmm. an extra act to the active mm -hmm. player. So doing more than one doesn't give you an extra extra action. That's a lot of extras. It's like the gum. We're we're in too deep. So yeah, let's do it. Uh, and that's uh, that's my turn. I drew okay. a card. My, sec my official second action. Okay. So I'm going to close that, and I get that before. It yeah, you get the right? Yep. Okay, so I get this and this. And then I will uh, start the ceremony. That's my turn. All right. All right, I am going to play the turtle here. I'm going to play this here, which completes that ceremony because I only need three, which gives me this plus one for the turtle that I just played. And I think that's the end of the game. That is the, end of the game. that is the end of the game. All right, mm -hmm. so now you put your hand on your draw pile. And we will compare draw piles. Mine is almost certainly bigger than anybody else's. Mine is 13. Six. We'll be ten. Uh, I'll be at nine, I think. Okay, so you get five points, TJ, and Richmond will get three, and I get point envy. Okay. And then we count them up. All right. This is definitely uh, different than it ran last night, for sure.
<laughs> I feel like I'm watching Scrooge McDuck finish playing this game. Okay. All right, I had 43. I had 67. 67 is a lot. What'd you have, Richmond? Did he just hang up? He Probably. Just, I'm just out of here. I'm just out of here. Oh, whoa. Hello. Can you hear us? Nope, you can't. Nope. 29. 29. So that's the biggest gap. Like when we played last night, it looked like I was going to be way off, but it, it, we closed it a lot. It was very close. That's the, um, that's definitely the biggest gap I've seen. Um, the next biggest gap I'd seen the same, the guy had the same thing where he was able to take good advantage of that, that feather card. And it just took the other players too long to close it. Um, which kind of doubles down because, it not only gives you points, but it also burns through your deck, right? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I like that a lot. Can and, you hear me uh, now? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you now. Yeah, you can hear you. Okay. I had to switch my to my computer uh, audio. Uh, I uh, really yeah, like it. This is the second. This is the second time I played it. Um, I played it last night, uh, and even though, what was TJ? What'd you end up having? Sixty three. Boof. Yeah, it's a uh, bunch. Uh, yeah, it's a bunch. Um, I really like it. I think the variable the variable setup to where you can have twelve of the twenty-five that you can play with. Um, it really changes up all the powers, whether it's the victory points that you can get um for playing it for completing somebody's something or uh extending, uh, but also uh, extending your play your play area. Um I really like it. Um, I've been, I was a big fan of it. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, and yeah, I think we've got the link in, um, in the chat there. If you want to get signed up to be notified to when this goes live on Kickstarter, if you like what you see, can't imagine you're not, but, um, yeah, I mean, that, that was great. I really appreciate Travis, you letting us play this. We really appreciate you coming out, teaching the rules to both this and uh, Winter Kingdom. Uh, As for stream updates, tomorrow we've got Listicuffs at 9 with Marty from Rolling Dice and Taking Names and Kevin from Tantrum House. Yeah. So Uh, should be should be good. Uh, Should be fun. Yeah. Last episode with uh, Rob and Lance was a blast. Yeah. And that's the end of the quarter. That's the end of the quarterfinals, right? That's the end of the quarterfinals. So we will actually give away a game to someone in chat, uh, yep. as well as a game to someone uh, who retweets uh, the tweet that I will drop in chat now. There you go. If you go to that link uh, and re- uh, quote tweet it with either uh, hashtag Liscuffs Kevin or hashtag uh, Liscuffs Marty, you will be able to be entered uh, to win. You need to have an emotional attachment to the one. You really need to support the person you vote for. Support them hard. It's all uh, about relationships and making get commitments. But also, if they lose and you don't win a game, uh, feel free to kick them to the curb. Um, That's right. For and, and next horse. round. Never, never, never pick a new, pick a new horse. <laughs> so, but in, uh, if you do vote for someone and they do win, even though no one's going to win a game for that person, uh, your votes will move, uh, will uh, be added to their next round. Uh, so you will also have a chance to win uh, for them, uh, for those as well. Um, yeah. There's awesome. no reason, no reason not to do that, right? Uh, there, no, there's, there's no reason not to. So uh, go and click that link and retweet it uh, with 
uh, either of those two hashtags, and you're entered to win. That's the uh, that's all you have to do. Yep. And then come back and then come back tomorrow night. Uh, and enter the raffle in chat and have another opportunity to win uh, a game there as well. Uh, as we saw last week, uh, the person who won uh, the chance to win a game in chat was the same person who won the game uh, from Twitter. So yeah, sure was. Uh, it's a possibility that you could win uh, multiple games in the same night. There you go. But other than that, that's all we got for everybody. Uh, thanks for coming out and watching, hanging out, and uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah. We'll, uh, Bye, see you guys. Thanks, everybody.